Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a look at ProMods. Um, basically, now ProMods has been updated to work with 1.37 VTS. So that's ProMods version 2.46. This is going to be a, a rough and ready installation guide. I've done one before a while ago with an older version. Uh, it's very much the same. Um, but for anybody who's new to the game or new to ProMods or just wants to have a quick look at what's going on before they do their own, this is just going to flick through the screens and just show you. So you want to get to the ProMods account, um, create yourself an account, and then you can go to the download link at the top. It will take you to the relevant section. Uh, choose your language. Press OK by here. You need to go to this section first, which is click here to generate your dev file. Um, so you click that, download and then go on to step two once you've done that. Now I've already done this, so we're gonna skip the downloading parts. We've done the generate the def. Actually, let's click that a second, because there are some options there. You may wanna know what I've selected. Um, I leave pretty much everything default. So we do default interior, default damage, uh, standard draw. Well, draw distance is up to you. I tend to go with ultra drawing distance. Um, you know, if you're feeling that that's causing you a frame issue, I would leave it on standard otherwise. So let's say for argument's sake, standard there. You can change these if you want, but again, I leave everything at default. Map zoom compatibility, yes. Special transport DLC, yes. As I've got that as well. We click generate and download basically. So that's what I do. You're more than welcome to tweak the levels here where you can boost the sound. Um, but with with the new updates to sound, and I don't think you should really do double damage and things like that. It's just being silly. So generate that, and then we can go back on to step two. Uh, step two, then you've got two options, really. You've got this, which is the paid for download section, which you're looking at about 80, 90p, to download the main file and 50p then for the trailer and company pack and then middle east add on pack another 50p thereabouts so 45 there we are so it's 90 45 45 uh, or you can do this section down this side on the right which will allow you to download exactly the same just takes a little bit longer um but be aware that if you are downloading from this section here on the right only download two files at the time max otherwise they'll kind of like block you and it will take even longer to download everything. Once you've done your download, you need to extract your files. So as it says down here, you would need 7-zip. Um, so if you, let's say for argument's sake, you downloaded all the files here, highlight all the files, right click and do extract to folder, and then obviously extract them into a folder, which you can find on the desktop. Once you've done that, you should then end up with window like this has everything extracted um one that you may not have i've forgotten to put it in there be the def file that we did originally so that's all, everything there and then what you turn to do then let me uh There we are. So what you would do then is go to Documents, View Truck Simulator, Mod. Let's move that around and highlight, copy, right click, paste, paste that in, and you can see here. Then, oops, there's all the files there listed. Once you've done that, you can close your windows down. And then go to the game, start the game. I've again, I've already done this for convenience, but again, I'll show you.
you want to go to your mod manager and as you can see pro mods is here quite a few you need to click on so what you need to do is click on the icon here this will be grayed out click it green it'll get added to the top whatever gets added to the top what i'll do i'll add in this one here because we'll we need to remove it so we'll click on that if you double click it'll get added to the top what we want to do then is move them down to the bottom so i've already moved them down now there's this one file here i'm not going to be using because uh, you get to choose between two of there's a standard and then there's replacement trailers we're using standard trailers for now while i'll try things out so to move that down to the bottom you can either click here which will move it one line at a time like this all the way down until you get to the bottom or to move that to the bottom quickly this arrow in the corner click and you can see it shoves it right down the very bottom of the list um, but as we're not going to need that i'll double click that off and if you want to do an order i mean this isn't in any particular order i've kind of organized it slightly but you can pause the video and have a look at what I've done here if you wish. Otherwise, all I do is put the dark ones at the bottom, the light ones above, and then all your other mods above that, as you can see. And then we can click Confirm, Continue your Game. And this is the point now you start to cross your fingers. Pro Mods does make the load time that much more, so be aware it will be slower. I'm running off an SSD. If you're running off a hard drive, it will be longer again. Now, in my game, because it crashed out and I've been working my way back up, I was back up to about 50% map. If we look at the map now with Pro Mods, down to 20% explored. Uh, there's a shed load more for me to do now. As you can see, way around we can travel on a ferry up there we can go back to the uk got ireland and there's probably more that i've forget whereas i so yeah there's a lot more with that pro mods ads for you to do so there we are that is pro mods that's uh, how you do it it's fairly straightforward the one thing that people may get stuck on if they're not very good or haven't really done much in terms of extracting files, I'm sure most of you have, um, but don't worry. As long as you, whatever you've downloaded, as long as you make a copy of those files on your hard drive, um, work on the copy files then. If you, if you think you've messed up those files, delete them, recopy the originals and work on those. Never work on the originals just in case. If you need to verify the files because you think, oh, hold on a minute, I've done everything right, but it's still not working, um, on that download section under the Pro Mods download list, there is a verification tool you can download to verify the files. Um, so again, you need to download that tool, extract that tool, and run that tool in the same folder as the files, and it'll verify those files for you. And if there is a problem with one of those files, it'll tell you. And again, if it is a problem, delete the file, re-download that same file. Chances are that will fix it for you. Um, if you wish to uh, ask any questions, though, hit the comments below, and I'll certainly do my best in answering any queries that you do have. But again, guys, fairly straightforward. Don't worry about it. Give it a go and enjoy. So take care. Bye for now.